everyone and welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be doing a special challenge. So for this one I got tagged by the lovely Crystal from Bond Book Reviews to do the 24 hour reading challenge. So basically what the concept for this was is you set a timer start a timer every time you start reading pause it whenever you finish and then basically record your journey throughout so I was a little bit reprehensive about doing this only because when I first was taking this it kind of to me it felt like I was it was making reading kind of a chore rather than just a pleasure but um as you guys will see in this video it took me about a solid month to get through this I think I started in early April and then it's now the 29th of May as I'm recording this intro so um yeah so we'll get straight into the video and we shall see how I did hi so uh we are now five hours in to this challenge and I realize I have not been filming anything for this so I finished my first book the other day I can't remember what fucking day I finished this oh uh, then well but I finished my reread of Serpent and Dub uh 4.5 stars again so this is the first book i managed to get off my self-destruct list uh mostly because i've been lazy very lazy uh especially last month this was the only book i read in what fucking month are we in now may so april so that was the only book i read in april <laughs> can you tell i've really been on this one um so yeah i finished this the other day reread four and a half stars great and today I've, so we just not long ago after reading experience with Ren, and I am now currently up to page 256 of Bunny by Mine One. I have heard so many good things about this. My thing with this at the moment is, my main thing is, what the fuck, and is there a point to this? Is there a point to this book? Because um i'm not really seeing what the hype with this book is uh there's a lot of there's a lot of what the fuck and why is this a thing <laughs> why is this a book um so yeah i'm not really feeling it but uh, i'm feeling it enough that i've got more than 60 percent of the way into this but yeah, I'm not really feeling this book at the moment, but we shall see. See how it goes. But um, I'm quite surprised I managed to get this far in over five hours of reading time because it's been interesting because I don't... I know I'm a fast reader, but I I think... Well, when I first... I This is my second take of this challenge, by the way. I did start this back in March, but then I sort of fucking gave up. <laughs> okay, let's just restart this, because as you guys know, April was a bit of a bust. But it's been interesting this, just to see how far I have gotten into these two books in just over five hours, because um, I know you are read fast, but I didn't think it was this fast. Um, also, I'm sorry if I sound like shit, but I had COVID last week, so the ec just excellent times, I tell you. Um, and I was also meant to go back to work last week, but obviously that didn't happen. So I'm probably not going to get any more funny red tonight because I do have to go to bed because it's my first day back tomorrow and I have a 10 hour shift tomorrow. And then I've got to go and feed my work friends cats because they're currently away at the moment so that'll be fun i have to yeah essentially instead of just going straight from straight home from work i have to go to her place feed her cats and then go home so but that's all right they're cute they're so adorable they really are but um yeah so i'm doing quite well at the moment a lot better than i thought i would but i'm gonna sign off now because like i said i need to go to fucking bed but uh, yeah, seven and up, four and a half stars. This, uh, I don't know what I'm going to write it yet. It's probably a very low three. Like, the writing's fine. It's just, to me, my main two things are what the fuck and 
is there a point to this book? Because, um, it, or, I don't know. It's very hard to describe. But, um, yeah, so it's probably going to be a low three stars at the moment. But we shall see if anything improves. But, yes, that's my update for now. I'm going to go to bed because, like I said, I have a 10-hour shift tomorrow. Fun time. Um, but, yeah, I'll check in with you guys when I have another one. Hi. So it's Sunday. Uh, I... Okay, one, I'm pissed off because for some reason my timer decided to shit itself and so I reset, but I can only took screenshots. So we are now just over the six hour mark and I finally finished Bunny the other day. Uh, okay, before I, I don't know whether I should say this, but it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Um, I did not like this. I, I'm just going to say that right? I gave this two and a half stars. It was just, and I think I said this in my Guru's review too, was that it, to me, it really didn't know what it wanted to do. And it kind of felt like she just had all these ideas and just kind of threw them together and expected it to work. Um, yeah, I did not. The last maybe thirty percent of this book, I'm like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm really not. One thing I will say about this is she is really good at describing people. So especially the way she describes the bunnies is really good. But other than that, like I like some of the aspects that were in this book, and it kind of gave the oh, what's going to happen next? But I just remember getting in this and going, why? Just, eh. Uh, so, yeah, it's quite disappointing I did not like this because the idea of it was great. It just wasn't executed very well. So, unfortunately, this is a book that I will not be keeping. I will be unhauling it. Uh, yeah, just because uh, two and a half stars, it's not worth keeping. So, um, yeah, I will be unhauling this. Unfortunately, but what can you do? So, yeah, that's all the reading I've done over the last couple of days, uh, just because I've been at work and because I've been tired as well. But I'm going to sign off now because it's like half past 11, I think. So I don't know what book I'm going to pick up next. Maybe Blood and Honey or um, maybe Queen's Assassin by... Melissa De La Cruz. Uh, this is on my self destruct list, and I do have to, <laughs> I do have to catch up on that because it's, uh, it's been a while, and well, it's beginning of May now, and I have only read one book off that list, so I have to get my ass in the gear. But I might pick up Queen's Assassin tomorrow, maybe. Uh, either that, I probably pick up Blood Honey because that is. That's probably going to be more enjoyable than Bunny was. Um, it's such a shame I didn't like it, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to sign off and go to bed, but um, yeah. We're going great. Two books so far is, for six hours is quite good. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys again later. Hi, so it is now the 10th of May and I did do a bit of reading yesterday, but I didn't update because I was a bit tired. But I did about 25 minutes worth of reading yesterday. And then I've done more reading tonight. But the time I decided to equip itself again for some reason. But I'm just lucky I've been taking screenshots of this because I would never be able to keep track otherwise. So altogether, we have now reached the over seven hour mark. And I just finished Small Spaces before. So this was a reread for me. Uh, 4.5 stars for this one. This is a creepy middle grade that I read maybe a couple of years ago and really, really adored it. And I only just discovered that my library has now got the fourth and final book on the way. So I thought I would do a reread of this series and catch up. But it's it's so good. So if you're looking for like a little creepy middle grade, and there's only, what, 200 and something pages? 200 and... 216, so it's a nice little, neat little book. So this roughly took me about maybe an hour, over an hour to do, which is good. Um, 
But yeah, so we're making good progress with this challenge so far. Um, so in total I've actually done three books in under just under eight hours, which is quite impressive. Um but like this is just an easy read, so it doesn't take me that long. Like I said, it's only over two hundred pages. So but yeah, I'm quite impressed with how we're doing it at the moment. So it's about eleven o'clock now. I'm probably not gonna read any more tonight. Uh I don't know what I'll pick up next. I'll probably pick up the sequel. Either the sequel or this one, the It Girl But Ruth Way, because I do have to take that back in a better week, so I can make a start on that. But um yeah, I'm quite impressed with the progress I'm making so far. I'm really impressed. So I'm gonna sign off and go to bed and I shall check in with you guys again. Hmm? What? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, watch yourself. Meow. Hey, what? What? There you go, so it's now the 15th of May, and I've got another four hours to in. So I thought I'd provide with an update. So today I finished off the second book in the Small Spaces Quartet, Dead Voices. Uh, I just love this writing. It's so, so good. It's fast-paced and really, really immersive. And Roy Milgrave is quite good. Like, how descriptive it is, is amazing. So I highly, highly recommend these books for anyone, not just middle grade, but yeah, so I finished that one today. And yesterday I also started my read of the Queen's Assassin. Well, actually it's a read of it. So I got to page, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, so I got to page 156. I'm not feeling this one as much as I did the first time. I checked Goodreads and gave it five and a half, actually five stars last time, which is quite surprising because I'm finding I'm not as invested in this as I was when I first read it. But I read this back in 2020, so it's interesting to see how much my opinion of this has changed in the last two years. But I might keep reading it, I may not, because uh, I'm only up to page 156, so be interesting to see if I actually do pick this up again, but at the moment I'm not really feeling it too much, but we shall see what happens. My main gripe with this is that, so we're following two perspectives, we're following Shadow, who's this apprentice slash royal person from what I remember, and then the Queen's Assassin, but what I always meet is that so she writes Shadow's perspective in first person, but she writes Cal's in third. Now, to me, that really doesn't make sense. And I sort of think it is because you're trying to write in third person because of the fact that this is someone who's... So basically what happens in this is his father made a vow to protect the Queen and that's gone down to his son and he can't break it because it was a bladder so is she writing in third person because it's basically the curse talking for him if that makes sense but yeah I really don't understand why she's made why well, Melissa Delacruz made that decision especially to write his perspective in third person it, it makes no sense but yeah I'm not exactly um loving this as much as I was the first time but, yeah, we shall see whether or not I finish it, but, yeah, I made, I made a decent chunk of it yesterday, so, we shall see. But I also started, well, just tonight, actually, I started my read of the It Girl by Ruth Ware, 
So I'll go up to page 122. I have a feeling I might be doing that in this just because it's it's not really grabbing me like a lot of thrillers usually do. So in this one, we're following a woman who discovered her best friend dead over 10 years ago and her evidence got one of the pauses put away. And so 10 years later, he turns up dead in prison and apparently he was doing this appeal. But it's... He's a guy who's... He tried to make various appeals before he died and before he was doing the very last appeal right up until his death and basically somebody rings her one day and says it's quite possible that the wrong man went to prison for her best friend's death. So that's basically what this is and it goes between the past and the present. So the past sort of leads up to the murder of her best friend and then the second timeline is current day. So you're following those two perspectives, each each different chapter. So one chapter is the past, the next is the present. But yeah, this isn't really grabbing me. Like it's not, I don't feel really grabbed by this. I don't know whether it's the writing or whether it's the fact it's taking, it seems to be taking a while to, get going. So how many pages is this? I haven't how many pages. Nope. That's a, uh so it's four hundred and twenty pages. So I'm not even halfway yet, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep being this. I may read a bit more tonight, but probably not because this does have to go back tomorrow because it's only a seven day line and it's due back tomorrow. Um I'm probably going to soft DNF it for now. I may pick it up later. I may not. But, yeah, that one's not really grabbing me either. So, I'll probably DNF it for now. But, that's what I'm up to. So, we're almost at the halfway mark of this challenge, which has been really interesting. Um, but, yeah, I'm quite glad that this challenge has sort of prompted me to pick up books again. Because I've been so, so, so bad with my reading. But, um... Yeah, so that's really all I can give at the moment. Uh, I'm going to sign up for now and come back with you to within that update, hopefully. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, depends. I do have a couple of things to do tomorrow, but we shall see. Hey, guys. So it's now the 22nd of May, and I just have done about four over four hours of reading over the last couple of days, and I finished two books. So the one I just finished was Spells for Forgetting by... Adrian Young. This was quite good, actually. This is one of the first books of hers I've ever read. Uh, I gave it four and a half stars. Not quite five, uh, only because I th felt the end was a little bit too rushed. Um, but other than that, I really quite enjoyed it. It's one of the first books of hers I've ever read, and I really enjoyed it. So it's making me look forward to reading the other two books of hers that I actually do own. So there was that one. And then I recently returned Dark Waters today to the library because I finished that last night and because I think I started that Saturday and it's now Monday because last five days I've just been at work so I haven't had a lot of time for reading but I'm so glad I've managed to finish another two books in over four hours is quite astonishing but to be fair the small spaces series they're only like 300 pages tops so that's not a lot of pages for me personally to read um but yeah so we are now at the 15 hour mark oops hang on let me batteries aside this tablet is going flat um so yeah we're just at the 15 hour mark so we're we're definitely over the halfway point and i'm surprised that i managed to read this much how many books have i read uh one two three four so i've read five books so far and i've started two what well, i on that note, I de decided to DNF the It Girl. It just, it wasn't doing it for me, but I have counted the hours for that towards the overall goal anyway, because it's still reading technically. But yeah, I decided to DNF that because it just wasn't working. So um, I probably might soft DNF the Queen's Assassin as well, only because I'm not really feeling it at the moment. And I just, 
I've had no desire to pick it up either, so I'll probably be soft earring effing that for now. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm up to right now. I do need to start, I don't know whether I've said this so far, but I'll probably make it out of this when I'm to the editing process, but I do need to pick up Rally because the live show for this and Dracora is this coming Sunday and I have not read either. So, and I'm hosting the live show for these two. So, yeah, because if you guys don't know, this is the book, the series I've been rereading again with Sash from Sash Reads as part of a read along. And we were supposed to have the live show for this last month, but then, of course, I caught COVID. So, we just had to push it back, but it's totally fine. So, I do need to get started on that. Um, probably not tonight because it is like now. 10 o'clock and I am feeling a bit tired so um but yeah that's what I'm up to right now really i the other day I was thinking I probably was struggling with this a little bit because I was just thinking uh how much longer do I have to go but I'm quite glad that I'm nearly now up to the 16 hour mark of this challenge and um yeah I definitely think I could probably fit in maybe one more book uh, really depends on how long it takes me to actually sit down and physically read because most of what I'll be reading is physical only because it's easier for me to time myself that way because with the audiobooks I just tune out sometimes as well and I probably forget to set the timer as well so it's probably just easier for me to physically read and time myself doing that so um yeah that's what I'm up to now but I am going to sign off because I am tired but uh yeah, I shall check in with you guys again when I haven't done an update. Hello, so I realised I did not film anything else for the rest of this reading challenge. I've written down all the times so I stopped and started and took screenshots of them all, but I didn't actually think to actually film the updates for that. So when I got up to the 18 hour mark, I finished one book and started on another. So I'd started Empty Smiles by Catherine Arden. So this was the fourth and final book in the em not Empty Spaces, Small Spaces series. <laughs> so I gave this a four star, not quite five stars. The ending was just a little bit way too rushed for me. Um, yeah, that was a little bit disappointing now that I think about it. But still enjoyable enough up until the end. I gave it four stars, so not quite a five. Um, so yeah, at that point I then had started Rally It by Lynette Noni. Um, so basically, after those two I got up to... So basically, once I finished Empty Smiles, I started reading Rally It. And then, once I got up to... I think I read for like another two hours, and that brought me up to the 20 hour mark. And basically I'd finished Rally It by that point. So, when did I finish Rally? It was, let's say Monday. So, that would have been Friday. Yeah, it would have been Friday because I'm pretty sure I started Dracora. So, yeah, no, I started Dracora Saturday and finished it Saturday as well. So, basically, I got finishing Rally, I got up to the 20 hour mark, and then basically the last three hours of reading time was dedicated to Dracora because I. I've only just recently done the live show as I'm filming this update. So, um, yeah, that basically just took me over to the 24-hour mark. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that all these screenshots are going to be everywhere, but as I said earlier on in the video, my timer just decided to stop. Just clear itself altogether and start again, which was frustrating, but we finally made it to the end of the 24-hour challenge. So... Basically, I've managed to read how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've managed to read 8 books in this 24 hour challenge and DNF 2, which was a little bit disappointing, but I think 8 books in the space of over a 24 hour period that were actually completed I thought was pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's the 24 hour challenge. Uh, thank you so much, Crystal, for tagging me in it. I, when you first tagged me in this, I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this challenge, but 
as you can see I have done it so I will link Crystal's channel down below as well as her video that she filmed so you can go and see how she did in this challenge but yes thank you so much to Crystal for what um tagging me in this video and thank you to all of you guys for sticking me throughout this vlog I know it's just been basically close-up shots of my face and maybe some cat footage but um so yeah that's where i will leave this for now thank you so much for watching this i know it's been a while since i've uploaded it last but life just gets in the way but as always thank you for watching if you guys have gotten to the end of this video please do remember to give it the big thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel i would love it if you did and i shall see you guys again in another video coming real soon bye